Let's convert the decimal 0 0.56 to a fraction. So right away, let's call it 0 0.56 over 1. We're just dividing by 1, so we don't change the value. But now we have the start of a fraction. I can see I have one, two decimal places after the 0 here. So with two decimal places, I'm going to multiply by 100. So I multiply the numerator here by 100, and that ends up giving me 56. 100 times 0 0.56 is 56. But I can't just multiply the numerator by 100. I also need to multiply the denominator by 100. That's because 100 over 100, it's just 1. 100 divided by 100 is 1. So when we multiply by 1, we don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 100 times 1 is 100. So 0 0.56, the decimal, as a fraction is 56 over 100. But this isn't in lowest terms, so we can reduce this further. Let's do that. Since these are both even numbers, let's divide both of them by 2. 56 divided by 2 is 28, and then 100 divided by 2, that's 50. So we end up with 28 over 50. So 0 0.56 as a fraction is also 28 over 50. But we can reduce this again as well. They're both even. Let's call it 28 divided by 2 is 14. 50 divided by 2 is 25. And we can't simplify this any further. So the decimal, 0 0.56 as a fraction, as a simplified fraction in lowest terms, is 14 25ths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.